Good job, Lonzo. Watch yourself, but you are you're in the position to get it done. We got we got Shadrack here. Your new name is Shadrack. I, I see that. And you're doing a very good job. This is a this is a diesel free fire. A diesel free fire. Yeah, dude, he is getting the job done up there. That's what you call laying down your life. Oh, yeah. Building the Henson Creek House of Prayer. Look, we got him right through the place. Okay. He's going to the top. He's going to the top. He's going to the top. He needs to tag phone kitty me. I'm sorry, we need to have this. All right, hey, we got to do Hobbit and Gila. Really quick. Hobbit and Gila. Oh, that was good. That was good. Having fun there, Titus? Oh, yeah. Now he's Shadrach. <laughs> Talk about being on fire for the Lord, huh?
Hello, my name is Bill Mullins. I'm pastor of Fairview Baptist Church in Russell Springs, Kentucky. I'm out here with Titus and several of the men that are actually clearing out the area for the uh, uh, Henson Creek House of Prayer. And what a beautiful sight this is, is to uh, see how much has been cleared and the progress of individuals coming in from different states throughout the United States of America to come and pitch in and, and come together for all of God's glory. And, and I've had the opportunity to meet Titus a few nights ago and, and uh, had asked him to come and be a part of uh, our church on Wednesday night service to share his testimony. And um, we had a wonderful time and actually several of the men that were here when I've come to pick up Titus uh, went with us uh, to Fairview Baptist Church where I pastor. And uh, it was just an amazing time, a wonderful time to see the love that uh, Titus has for others. Of course, we know it's by the power of God. And uh, it's just a beautiful thing to see the work of God being uh, done here and take place. When you see uh, those that believe and trust in Jesus come together and unite for all for the purpose and glory of God, as well as to reach those that are lost and those that have yet to respond to the gospel call. And of course, that's what all of this is clearly about. So I'm sure Titus would be encouraged if you either send him letters or call him or reach out in maybe some, uh, some way of offering uh, what you can do for him maybe to help along the way. But once again, thank you all for your support of Titus and what he's doing. And may God bless you and we love you.